Well, I just don't like Jake Gyllenhaal's face. I thought he did I good. Hate Jake I thought Gyllenhaal. he did even better in the Spider Man movie. That was my least favorite part of that movie. I no. don't like Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't like that he's always doing that. Sh- there's a there's a time to have a smile on your face, yeah. and then there's a time not to have a f- smile on your face. Every fucking scene that you're in a f- movie is not a time to have a smile on your face. Hey. Oh, happy day. When I so fucked, when I so fucked, when I so when I so when I so when I so that you up today, oh happy day, man. What did That's... you prepare that song? Mm-hmm. Did you prepare it? In your bathroom this morning? Yeah, it was like, oh, ha- man. Were you... I got a little verse to it, too. Was that from Easter Sunday when you went to church? I didn't go to church on Easter It Sunday. sounds like you participated in church, and mm-hmm. now it's just stuck in your head. Yeah. Like one of those radio songs. Got it. No, I mean, hey, I was just like... Because then I was going to like, she taught me how mm. it, sonically. to make her squirt. Mm. Every day, every day, yeah. Sonically, it's pleasing. Mm, Sonically, good. good. But the I words? mean, the song's trash. Mm. The song's trash, and the meaning of the song is trash. Got it. Well, if you didn't know by now, you know now. Yeah. That's... This is a dose of reality. Obviously, you got your boy Kid Iso, and. My go host. Blake Steele, what's going on, everybody? So, obviously, um, spring is upon us. Spring. And what spring reminded me of was, like, back in the day, bro. Like, going to the mall with friends, mm. maybe being outside, being at the park, mm. kicking it. Just being out and about as a teen, young teen. A teenager? Yeah, as a teenager. Was out and about at the mall. So... Okay. When we used to go out and stuff, like, as a young man, like, your only thought is is trying to get women, you know? So, like, we go out, and we try to go get women. So, yeah. whenever we see a bad chick, you'd be like, caca, caca, you know? And then that, that's how you know. That's how the homies know, like, hey, there's a, there's a bad bitch around. You know what I mean? No. And if it was, like, a ugly bitch, you'd be like, arr, arr, arr. You know, yeah. so nobody would go look. You know right. what I mean? Like a seal? Mm-hmm. Is that a seal noise? It's a more of a bark. That was a bark. But it's like a it's like a it's like a a, a Pomeranian bark. That was a that wasn't a bark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe maybe more of a chihuahua. Yeah, I don't know. A little spicy you... chihuahua. But I was wondering, right. like, right. this is me in my in the black culture. This is my homies. Right. We do the caw caw thing. Right. So like caw-caw. what would you, what did you as like white guys do? Would you say like Oh, there's a hottie at twelve o'clock, guys. Like, was that what you would say? Like, if it was a a, a sexy girl walking around? Um, honestly, man, it's more so like, um, have you ever seen one of those videos, or it's like my girl thinks I'm out cheating right now, but I'm really with the boys doing this. Ah, oh, got it. Yeah. So you guys are just in circle jerks. Lots of them. Uh, gl- <laughs> glorious, glorious amounts of them. Yes, that sounds awful. He's Honestly, like, it's uh, what did what did uh what did uh Chris say? He was like, "All right, Brian, I'm ready, but only if you want to go back to back." <laughs> that's wild. And is it okay though? Because he's a dog. <laughs> that's oh, crazy. God. Yo, back. To- no, Yo, honestly. Back to back is diabolical. <laughs> where, where, where do you get off thinking that oh, aka and arf arf is the way to go that's when it comes a- down to trying to peruse the women? That's that's how you that's how you knew. So that I don't remember anybody doing that. You'd be discreet. You'd be like. Ca-ca. Ca-ca. No, I don't think that's discreet. It's very discreet. They yeah, don't know don't, what that means. No, no, that's the, that's the point though. I just 
I, I've heard of Hootie Who, like when what the cops it? are coming. Hootie Who? What Hootie the? Who? You know? What the fuck is that? Is That's that some white Hootie people? Shit? But what the fuck is a car car? It's just like you know, bird. You know, it's like you 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 get okay, it. Okay, so demonstrate. Tell me why. Tell me why you are uh, pawing. If it, 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 what, because what, what's a, with the bird coup? Well, because obviously back in the day they used to call women birds. They do that now. They okay, so they call them that now. Yeah, yeah. And back in the day, they did the same thing. So you know, caca. It's a bird. It's a it's a beverage. There you go. It's a circle, bro. Stop being a lame right now. Nah, bro. Because I know that you weren't doing anything like that. I was. Always, you were. Yeah. You. Yo, you might have been looking for women. Shout out. Shout out, John Quest, because that's the person who actually started the caca. And um and um Quentin. Shout out my boy Quentin. Cubo man. A couple of days ago. Okay. You told me about this movie that you had saw on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Called Roadhouse. Yeah. And you told me, like, yo, this movie, bro, is pretty good. This is a good movie, bro. Watch this movie, Honestly, bro. I'm not going to even rebuttal anything like until you, you're done talking. Like because you, we know the spiel you're about to like go Like, you hype me, hype me up to watch this right. movie. So right. I turn it on. And what do I find? But one of the biggest steaming piles of dog. That's a personal opinion. That I've ever seen. And, like, I didn't even get through. First of all, like, I forgot. Like, I didn't forget. I thought I, I thought I remembered that I didn't like Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. But I remember that I hate Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. Like, I don't like him. I don't like his face. Right. I don't like his stupid-ass smile. I don't like his little quirky little, you know, facial features he always does. He's a bad actor. And he just me off because he's so stupid it's because he's russian huh i didn't know he was russian yeah well i mean it's not it's like a brother thing it's like a brother thing yeah like he's not a brother he's not oh because he's not black is that what you're trying to say i don't know man you said it there's a lot of excellent white actually my favorite actor true story is white so i don't want to hear that in order to cap DiCaprio is your favorite actor? Leonardo DiCaprio is my favorite actor, and he plays in my favorite movie, one of my favorite movies. All Django time. Unchained. No, Inception. Jake Gyllenhaal in this movie specifically, as I addressed to you previously, that I didn't necessarily like the storyline of this movie. I thought it was a good movie. I enjoy fighting movies i enjoy fighting movies too. and i specifically said that i watched southpaw and i watched roadhouse in the same day and i specifically said that i liked his character better in roadhouse jake gyllenhaal than i did in southpaw but the storyline was better in southpaw because it was because it was a redemption story and i enjoyed it you know what it what me off about. but both the movies were were better than a lot of the things that i've seen lately so i couldn't really say that it was a steaming hot of trash oh, oh of i'm trash. sorry you know what you know what sometimes when you have a bag of garbage yeah, yeah. and it's, it's a like whole a, bunch of bullshit yeah. and you just take out mm. one little part of it right oh still yeah stinky. It, it's still stinky ass right. garbage bro. so if jake Gyllenhaal hall was let's say um kevin hart yeah. Or let's oh, say oh that movie would even uh, be worse if it was Kevin Hart. Let's say he's uh, uh, Lamar Odom, or like uh, let's You're, say he. So it's is, now we're, uh, we're putting a crackhead uh, in this. This um, is crazy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Messi. Let's Messi. say he's one of these people. Yeah, well, let's say well, he's one of these people. Why would they would the movie would still suck? The movie no, I'm sucks. just saying. I'm, I'm telling the you right movie, now. You know why the movie sucks? The movie wasn't bad at all. You know why the movie sucks? Why does the movie suck? Because, first of all. You read. I, I hate the redo and everything. Like mm. there was always already a road. I have never movie. even seen the original Roadhouse, but I'm sure it was not good. The original Roadhouse? Yeah. No, it's actually really good. The it's only reason why I know shit. about Roadhouse is because of Family Guy and Peter made fun of it. Yeah, no Roadhouse. I mean, Peter makes fun. They make fun of. And he goes every around kicking thing. people. They make fun of every single. Thing. I don't think Jake Gyllenhaal kicked one person in that movie, so I don't know where the yeah. f they got that from. Well, in the actual Roadhouse movie, he was like, kicking he people. Was kicking it was actually a really good movie. It's a good oh. movie. So it's why just... is the one with Jake Gyllenhaal not a good movie? Just because cause you don't like Jake Gyllenhaal. No. Well, I don't like J Jake Gyllenhaal. Right, because he's also, not a brother. Go ahead. But also, the reason why is because you rehash a story. It's this, I, I mean, literally, they even said in the beginning of the movie, oh, this is just like a f***ing Western. Mm. And it's just like a f 
fucking western. Yeah. There's there's nothing suspenseful that happens. There's nothing that you no twists that yeah. you actually can give a fuck about. The the story like I thought it was a 5 good story. minutes for into the movie, Prime movie, Shorty said original? Shorty said, "Hey, do you want to come work for me in my bar for $20,000?" Like that She said $20,000? Yeah, it was like 5,000 a week. Oh, that's crazy. No, it's like how was that like Give me, sink me into the movie. Give me something. This right. is just, they're just, just basically just telling you, yeah, this is what's going to happen. And it's like. Well, it was I, a remake. You know that. Right. So obviously they were so, just following the same storyline. It's almost like. So for example, right. Why was um, White Man Can't Jump? Why mm-hmm. did I enjoy it so much? Because yes, it was a remake. Right. But they changed the whole entire makeup of the movie, made it a whole different movie that. You could enjoy. You could yeah. sit there, watch it, and be like, oh, this is kind of like what I saw as a kid, but this is so much better because they changed a lot of it. It's a totally different story. Yeah. I'm invested. They give me a chance to be invested into the movie. This and movie just... because there was a bunch of brothers in it. No. And they played your favorite sport. Fuck that. I thought that... I love mixed martial arts so that you know that you know that. And plus... Well, it's not my a mixed favorite... martial arts movie. They don't... It's not... This is not Karate Kid. It's it's not like Jake Gyllenhaal martial. like recruited a bunch of children and he started teaching UFC them how to fight. He was a UFC fighter. Yeah, and then he whoops everybody ass using the techniques that he learned in the UFC. Right, but he retired. It's, well, well uh, I don't even remember mixed what the martial, situation. He, but it's still a mixed martial arts movie. It's still okay. a. Uh, that's what that would be called. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't call it that. What would you call it? I would call it a. I wouldn't call it a mixed martial arts movie. Would I would call, call it? it. I would call it an action comedy. Yeah, and I hate action comedies as well because. But I don't think there was it was too comedic. I, I, I thought, thought I just I don't know, man. I I enjoyed it. I yeah. enjoyed it, and, and then, like I said, you know what? You know when I knew this it was movie, more so his character. You though. know when I knew I this wish movie, his character was the same character in Southpaw, even though it would make no sense. I th- I love how he did the the di- differential too. He was able to play this in one and this in the other within a no, small amount I, of time. Southpaw came out like in what two thousand nine some shit like that. Dude, I have never seen it. Never no, saw. That's it. an older movie. Um, I saw it. No. It was a great movie. It's okay. It's it was not, a great movie. It's not bad. It no, was, the storyline um, was pure. I just think that I need a reason for you to just be whooping people ass. Why? If well, that just... was the reason. It's because people were uh, the guy. Um, you know, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. It's a spoiler, but uh, this rich guy that obviously wants to, you know, s- turn that bar into a landfill so he can. Uh, Bro, build his and house I'm tired of. Oh my god, that is the most. Yeah. Bro, that is the most overused reason mm. why you want to buy some shit in the in the history of movies yeah, ever, bro. That is a pretty I'm bad so reason. But I don't know how that tired of negatively this, like that's I don't know why how I'm that saying, negatively reflects on Jake Gyllenhaal though. Well, I just don't like Jake Gyllenhaal's face. I thought he did I good. Hate Jake I thought Gyllenhaal. he did even better in the Spider Man movie. That was my least favorite part of that movie. Yeah. I don't like Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't like that he's always doing that. St- there's a there's a time to have a smile on your face, yeah. and then there's a time not to have a smile on your face every fucking scene that you're in a movie is not a time to have a smile on your face hey all i'm saying is that if he played in guess who and it wasn't ashton kutcher it probably would have been a better better movie that is outrageous i truly believe that is outrageous ashton kutcher shout out to ashton kutcher i know him and his wife mila don't shower but ashton kutcher can can act circles around jake gyllenhaal you just don't like white people no i just truly get it I just picked up a white person. What the fuck are you talking but about? But Ashton Kutcher's not that white, though, because in the movie, guess who? He he marries a bro, black Bro, I don't give no fuck about no movie, bro. And that Bernie man Mac is... accepts him at the end of the movie. I don't care what Bernie Mac... Bernie Mac accepts Bernie Mac is somebody... dead, bro. So yeah, what, he, what, he, what he respects R- R- doesn't have no bearing on me at all, bro. Jesus. Like, I, thought he was, I thought he was the, the, uh, the, the black father. You thought Bernie Mac? Well, he's... Then, has not been alive for a Remember decade that one plus. Movie, uh, Life with uh, Martin Lawrence and uh, Eddie Murphy. Where no, 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 jang lang, jang lang, jang lang, jang are, are the black jang father jang lang. either. There is none. Like, what? I'm talking about Martin Lawrence. Have you seen how he looks lately? Yo, bad I'm not gonna seven. lie. Hey, man, whoever is sitting here cooking up bad boys movies gotta stop it. I... Oh, why didn't they AI filter them? Why? We watch a video with Will Smith like a year before he gets slapped showing that he is like totally AI generated and that he's looked old for years, even though he's not that old. 
I don't know how he looks that old. My dad is turning 67 and he looks younger than it's Will just Smith. The, 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 yeah, we could talk about the tomato and the body. tomatoes. Of no, it. I mean, that's, it, that's just all it is. Yeah, being not, an actor, not a pro a athlete, answer. but we'll talk about that it, at it, another it time. It doesn't matter about um, being a pro athlete. But yeah, athlete. they both look like they look like dogs. AI should have just filtered the shit out of them. I'd rather have watched a, uh, a live animation movie of Bad Boy 7 than... Uh, Watch Reno 911 with uh, the two washed up actors from. Uh, yeah, Life. it's it's all bad, man. It's really all bad. Um, I don't. At some point, you got to stop playing action movies. Yeah. And you got to move on. Like at some point, wasn't he? Didn't he do that tennis movie? Did that movie ever come out, or was yeah. that like during the time where he won, uh, the, he won a Grammy for that? He won I mean, a Grammy not for a that. Grammy. Uh, was Os- that like a um, Oscar? A Oscar. life story on Sarita and uh, Williams. Williams and, Venus? and, her, and Venus's dad. Venus. Yeah. Venus's dad. Okay. Yeah. Because apparently they grew up in like Oakland and he taught them how to t- play tennis. And that Will really... Smith did. Absolutely. That was did. Venus's dad. That was who he was supposed to play. Or was he just the coach? No, he was. Uh, he, He's he the was coach. He was the coach, but he was their dad. So he was their dad coach. So he was just their coach. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. So, no, I mean, you know, hey, man, uh, shout out to uh, Fat Will Smith and Fat Martin Lawrence. Bro, Martin Lawrence looks skinnier than Will Smith. Yo. And then Martin Lawrence also looked like a bus hit him. You know what's like, really, I don't... <laughs> you know what's really crazy too? It's like their faces just like blew up. Yeah. And it's so weird to see because like I remember when the first when the first bad boys came out, they both look great. Yeah. Like they look great. And I know that was 20 plus years ago. I get it. But like, yeah. Yeah. Like, but again, like I said, wear and tear, being an actor, losing weight, gaining weight, you know, I'm sure for a lot of their movies, they did their own stunts. Yeah. You beat your body up enough like that, you know, you're going to, it's not, it's, you're not, at some point you won't bounce back. Yeah. You won't be able to bounce back just like that without surgery. Yeah. So. Turn into a Brendan Fraser. Fish Island! Island Fish Island is a one-stop shop for all your aquarium needs. We deal direct with the most top industry manufacturers to offer the best products at the lowest prices. Weekly shipments of hand-picked livestock. All fish are held for health and feeding observations. We are here to help make your aquarium experience an enjoyable one. At Fish Island. Our professional aquarium maintenance services will ensure your fish are in a stress-free and healthy environment. In addition to setting you up with quality fish and aquatic accessories, we can change your filtration systems, replace the plumbing, and properly clean your saltwater and freshwater fish tanks. When you choose Fish Island Aquarium Services, expect to receive quality workmanship backed by superior customer service. We provide honest quotes to save you time and money on your aquarium design, installation, and maintenance projects. We work with you and your busy schedule to provide you the appropriate aquarium services for your requirements. Contact our team today to learn more. Fish Island is also a full service aquarium store with a large selection of marine and freshwater livestock to choose from weekly shipments, custom designed aquarium systems, installations, and maintenance provided. So if you need your things done today, call Fish Island. So last time that we had convened on Capitol Hill, we talked about how Diddy may have done it. And there were some court documents. Well, since that time, that man, house, has gotten raided. Is he incarcerated? No. He is. They're searching for him. I believe there is a warrant. There may be a warrant out for his questioning. I don't know if it's for his arrest, but I believe they want, he's wanted for questioning. But there is a whole bunch of goodies that they said they found in his house. Apparently, he had secret cameras in every room. So there's multiple videos of famous celebrities, musicians, and athletes mm. doing very shady, shady sexual acts. Really? And that's what they own. That's what they have. They're that's saying. what the FBI have. What they're saying. They yes. Have. Right. Allegedly. Allegedly what they raided from his. Well, it's not. I mean, I guess it's still allegedly. But yeah, what they raided from his house. I mean, it's one of those things like I'm not going to sit here and turn this into a conspiracy, but. Obviously, like when they said that, like the FBI raided, um, what's her face, um, Pelosi, 
Mm -hmm. during the election right Nancy and Pelosi. they found you know evidence off her computer they got mm -hmm. her computer it's like nothing even goes to the light of day they they could find anything but i mean until diddy gets convicted we don't know shit. of course not no no yeah. no. i'm just saying it's what the world right. speculated yeah, 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 that yeah. was there yeah with the federal but booby what, inspectors what they said with the federal booby inspectors what they that they were announcing that was supposedly found yeah apparently and it was just footage there was no like whips and chains and fucking oh no apparently there's a lot of whole, lightsabers there's a whole bunch of there's there's footage there's a whole bunch of sexual, goodie bags there's Does he goodie, give bags. goodie bags when they leave there's a lot of stuff uh, apparently they he fired up his they like when they were when he found out they were coming he yeah. fired up his private plane okay. but the private plane was still there when they got there so they go to search to see who's in there he's not there apparently there may be some underground tunnels through his house that he may have escaped through well yeah that's smart that's very so, smart especially I mean, when it comes down to him doing shady things trust and believe i'd probably have an underground tunnel you right know, dude it's like my house if i was rich like that not to do shady things just because that shit sounds cool as fuck right but not only that though but if you were pulling some like and i'm not saying el chapo but it's like yeah. come on it's but also if like it, it, what if it was a situation where it's like somebody comes in tries to attack the house yeah. all yeah, right me and safe room. yeah me and the family can go through this little tunnel. what if he was in the safe room the whole time he had secret cameras very the possible house, very possible you know so allegedly allegedly um they are allegedly looking for him yeah um and yeah no it it looks a little sad I, there was a, a video of like his family like his kids getting like led out of the mansion while they went to go raid it and raid stuff it, yeah. like that so um, well it's crazy though because it's like they've been kind of going over this whole spiel thing mm. for a minute now. I don't want to say that this is just like now coming out. Cause obviously like we've heard of allegations with Justin Bieber coming out and like all this other shit where, you know, child actors or child stars have been kind of, you know, allegedly taken under the wing by Mr. Sir Diddy. Mr. And, Diddy. And uh, now it's just kind of coming out where things are coming in flourishing and, we talked about this before, you know, it's like, where, where is the end? Like, whose button did he push? Like, who did he pee on, Mr. Yeah. R. Kelly? You know what I mean? No, like, it's... We don't know, you know what I mean? And and obviously something came out where it was strong enough where people couldn't look away anymore, but it was just like, everybody's been kind of hearing about this case. Like, nobody feels bad for Justin Bieber, and nah. that dude's fucked up because yeah. of this. Apparently, yeah, no, and no, I mean, no, he, no, he is. And then you know what's apparently, dude. and you know what's really <laughs> crazy too. Like, and I've said this before on the show. I mean, it's still fuck Justin Bieber, you yeah. racist piece of shit. Right, dudes are but racist. like, um, I did see there was a whole bunch of videos and and stuff like that where cheap women, men, everybody were like touching him inappropriately when he yeah. was coming up, and like they're grabbing on him, yeah. trying to hug him, trying yeah. to kiss on him, and. And it's like, bro, like, hey, he's he and he would look visibly uncomfortable. And it's like, damn, what if what they end up finding? Because obviously you can have um, cameras in your house. Of you know what I mean, you can own sexual toys. You can do whatever the hell you want as long as you're not like, you know, forcing anybody to do anything. Mm -hmm. What if it like comes to find out that like all these people really just accepted money for sexual favors? So it's like at this point, it's not even like a like, a, oh, like what? what what can i do for you to bring you to the next level like no i'm just giving you fifty thousand dollars to suck my well apparently some of these people that were were sex workers right so they, i mean it's they were acting as, at that point. they were acting as sex workers i mean what they're trying to get right, but he can't for, go to the feds for prostitution no what, what they're trying at. to no what they're trying to get him for and what they're the charges they're looking at is sex trafficking trafficking so he's oh. right Right. I, all that's allegedly yeah. what the charges they're looking at trying to bring it against Mr. Diddy. Puff Daddy, man. Huff Daddy, Puff Diddy. Right. I mean, you know what's crazy though? It's just they I've been seeing on social media everybody bringing up all his like most sus moments and yeah. shit. And it's just funny cuz it's like this is what people do. You know what I mean? Like the bigger issue I think is like society as a whole because so quickly they're just ready yeah. to just crucify him and like granted he may have done every single thing they said he did right i don't know i wasn't there but damn like can he get like a a fair shot can we give him a second to like see like can can but no that's not what's happening it's just yeah. like yo that did that what are they saying he did whatever they saying he did he did that shit. 
that's kind of unfortunate. But at the same time, you got to stop calling people daddy all the time. That's just a little wild. That's probably why he's going. <laughs> everybody's just tired of him calling him, or calling eh, him calling everybody daddy. That's Every, wild. Everybody's just tired of it. And I honestly think it's like, like I was saying before, it is, it is wild, bro, because it's like everybody was talking about this before. When does a conspiracy turn into a fact? You know, when when does the government release information that UFOs are real and the people that were incarcerated and the people that were put in mental institutions for saying that this, that, and the third happened are, are now just not shed to light and not redeemed of this insanity imprint that they've probably been put on them? I mean, when, will, just, when, when will the CIA admit that they, you know, were the people behind Charles Manson? And, okay, and, but you what, know, I, you mean, know what like, I'm saying, bro? Like, like, when, like, like, is the moon landing real? But yeah. it doesn't matter. Like, when does conspiracy turn fact? You know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, we can all talk about it and say that there's allegations, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, now the FBI is doing something about it. It's like, there, there was a... A, a, a turning point and there was a a point where people just did not praise diddy anymore right. somebody did not like diddy somebody had it out for diddy because like you're saying with society everybody's proven guilt everybody's guilty until proven innocent Absolutely. and then when they are proven innocent drake bell is not innocent but now he comes out with the whole narrative saying that he was sexually assaulted so now everybody feels bad for him so now he is innocent he just needs help right. i mean it's it's just crazy to think that where society lies on what they think right and wrong is. And right and wrong is not how much clout somebody has. Right and wrong is what you feel is right and what you feel is wrong. And if you think that Diddy's been doing all this nasty sh for all these years or R. Kelly's been on all these women, then why are they just going to jail now? Bill Cosby gets let out of jail. I know I'm talking about, but it's just but crazy. But no, here's why. Because and this, is what, this goes back to, this goes, and this is why. Thank you, Chris Breezy, for being who you are. It all goes back to the Chris Brown point. Yeah. If you can sing, dance, yeah. act, play basketball, box, yeah. do something very f well for long enough, and you're charming enough, yeah. you can do whatever you want until the point where you're not successful enough anymore for people to ignore it. Because right. then when you're not... That's the only time now, oh, this, oh, that, oh, this person's doing that. Oh, right. you know, this person's doing that. Oh, you know, this person always been doing this. Oh, we knew for the long oh, yes, time yeah. that this Everybody person was doing knew. that. And oh, all those people we, that just knew should be incriminated with them. And those and are the worst types. Up. Those are the worst people because it's like, bro, y'all sit here and say, oh, well, I knew he was doing this. And yeah. I, well, why didn't you say something? Why right. didn't you try to stop it? Why didn't you step right. in? None of that. You just, hey. with, oh, it's whatever. Well, you know what? Hey, he's, he's, hey, R. Kelly is yeah. making ignition. Is this the key to if, ignition? If I didn't Run want him to on me, I would have moved out the way. Bro, like, that's the, the crazy shit I'm talking about. Like, everything is cool until, when it's, they, not. until it's not. Until, until it's they not. decide, oh, well, you're not successful yeah. enough. So, you know what? Everything that you do. And what you need to look life. like and how you need to act. Because, yeah. I mean, even with YouTube, YouTube's constantly changing where some things are cool and then some things aren't OK. And then when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter who you are as a creator. YouTube will stighten and, and stunt what you have going on just because you don't follow their narrative. Absolutely. It's, it's just like with everything. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool to have free speech on Twitter right. until you say something Elon Musk doesn't like. Right. Then it's out with you. You're done. Right. It's just... Everything is cool until I feel like it's not. Right. Until you do something that I don't like. Something despicable I feel like I'm not cool with. And that's why I challenge Elon Musk to a hand-to-hand -hand combat for a billion dollars that I can't put up. Oh, can you just stop eating for two seconds and do the commercial? Okay, you're right. Do you like home-baked goods and tired of the same boring treats? Do you want cookies and brownies baked just like your grandma used to make them? Well, look no further than Marlotti's Courtyard Snacks with new flavors like blueberry lemon, strawberry red velvet, and cookies and cream brownies. And old favorites like chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, and butter cookies. We have all the flavors covered, and each batch is homemade and baked with care. Marlotti's Courtyard Snacks can ship anywhere in America that enjoys snacks. Get whatever flavors you want freshly baked and shipped to you today. For a limited time, mention a dose of reality and get 10% off your first order. You can reach them on Facebook at Marlotti's Courtyard Snacks. 
on Instagram at Marlottis underscore courtyard underscore snacks. The link is in our description below. Kendrick Duckworth Lamar. Duckworth, is that his last name? Or is no, that his middle name? I think that's his middle name. As is, uh, does he have a stage name going on? I don't know. Is that his real name? Or is that I think his, 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 just that's, I think that's his is real Duckworth name. Is Duckworth the stage name? I think his, his, his stage name was like K-Dot. That's what he was going by. But now he's Kendrick Lamar, which is his real name. K-Dot? K yeah. Okay. So, last time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Mr. K Dot had came out of his cave from wherever the fuck he was, right? And took shots at Drake, and he took shots at J Cole. He said, "Fuck the big three, because it's just the big me." Is um is that a chance the the rapper reference? No, it was um in the song first person shooter mode. Yeah. Drake and J. Cole kept referencing a big three, which is supposed to be Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick. And so Kendrick was saying, that it's just about me. I'm I'm the number one. Y'all are just side characters. Well, you know why he did that. Why? Because he obviously feels inadequate in the uh, music that he's been putting out compared to uh, Drake and J. Cole. I don't disagree with that. But J. Cole, now Drake obviously subliminally Shot back with a few captions on Instagram, but that wasn't. Was that it a important. Max Win reference? No, it wasn't a Max Win reference. He just, you know, said a few things. I think, um, just some some petty little shots back okay. and forth. Yeah, not, not really that important, right? Well, yeah, because Drake doesn't give a shit. Doesn't care. It it would almost be beneath him to to say, to, to say right. something at this. point. It's like if we sat here and talked down. Well, that is not making it. Anyway, shot back. Can, and, I, can I ask what he said? Because I listen, I listen obviously both the songs, uh, the seven minute yeah. J Cole uh, shooting back, and then. But what was the line uh, that? Because Kendrick did this song with Future, Future, and somebody else, Metro right? Boomin, and Metro Boomin. So obviously he couldn't just you know perform a diss track by himself. Um, what was the line that that really like boiled J Cole? What what, what I think was it, it was the. The big three. Line. The big three. Yeah, it's just a big me. Because I mean, if it were me and I was Chance the Rapper, mm -hmm. I'd be pissed right. Why now. would you be? Pissed because that's his whole label. What? The the three. Man, f nobody gives a fuck about Chance the Rapper. Oh, right Chance now. the Rapper is nostalgic, and not only is he nostalgic, but he. I hope saying for the president. I hope he's for Obama. Bro. I hope that he is bro. happy with his family. Come on. And his wife, and I think I hope everything is going well for him in his life. I thought it was a magical brother but situation. What he's talking about, and nobody ever thinks about Chance when they're writing music. They're not right, but when I life. see him on The Voice, I think about him all the time. Okay, well that's unfortunate. He's a funny guy. Anyway, go ahead. J Cole shot back, yeah. and he said that his first out that Kendrick's first album was a classic, and then the other that he came out had put everybody to sleep yeah you know but everybody gassed it and then he said that you know the last that he's been putting out is trash basically saying he's been living off of good kid mad city for a long time oh yeah i think that's the only uh final i own of his here's what i will say if you want my thoughts on the whole matter kendrick was a little bit out of line talking up to people just because it's like when you when you're talking up to the people who are active, yeah, it's like I, I can't really hear what you're talking about. Can I say though that J. Cole did not clap back? Can I say that he did not do as well as he should have? I know that he didn't have to you prove thought, anything. You thought his his sh was worse? I thought he could have done better. You thought you so no, you no, 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 no. I do think that J. Cole definitely won this. Okay. If 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 there was a winner, he'd have the sprinkles. Right. But I'm talking about the fact that like you feel like it was a, but he was, was weak. He was just he was just throwing out a few jabs. It's, right, but it wasn't even jabs though when you're just recycling things that you've said in other songs. I feel you, but what I'm saying is is I think it, he was giving them like a hey. Don't get out of line. It was a little, it was a talking. But scene. at least there was a show point when we had the whole MGK Eminem beef. And I know why don't well, like crime M is Eminem, not seen. MGK was a little different because them niggas was trying to go at it. J. Cole, I think, was really saying to like Kendrick, like, hey. Settle down, little settle guy. Settle down, buddy. What happened here is that is the perfect case of an active rapper smacking around a part-timer. 
when you are active, when you are actively rapping on tour, actively um, working on a project, actively hopping on feature after feature after feature, when your when your sword is sharp, it's a lot different from the old all time great who's just trying to come out of retirement and and see if he has something left in the tank. This looked like when Michael Jordan came back from from retirement after the first time. And they got whooped by the Orlando Magic. And we were like, damn, that's Ma- that's Michael Jordan? He don't look like Michael Jordan. He had to change it up. He had to get back to it. And I feel like um, Kendrick Lamar got smacked around. He got put back into his place. He, he, he got a talking to. And J. Cole was basically like, yo, shoot again. And then I'm going to actually come with it. Now I'm going to go give you a spanking. This time I'm giving you a warning. I'm saying, hey, bud, this is not the, 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 the path you want to walk down. Relax. Yeah, but next time I'm gonna take off my belt, and I get that. But I still think that like, if you're gonna subdue an enemy, then you subdue an enemy. You know what I mean? Right. And I know this is just some like, hey, let's start some beef so I can g- gain some traction to Kendrick's name, or at least Kendrick's trying to do that for himself. I know Drake and J. Cole. I mean, they were trying to big up him for whatever reason, and now you know what I mean. I, this this is just a classic case, you know. But at the end of the day, I still think that J. Cole should have went harder. He should have went that. way harder. I think that. Yeah, I think what he said was weak as f- really, really. I, if I could even go to say that it was weak as, f- I thought that like it was a settled down Leonard situation. You know what I mean? It was like a. I wish that with how big your name is and how big most of your songs have done that you would have brought that to the table and like really subdued the situation. But now you've just let it fester. So now Kendrick can come back with some more shit. So now this is some like robot beef. That's how I feel about it, at least. You feel like he didn't come out swinging hard no. enough. I no. feel you. He gave the opportunity for, for some more shit to drop. That's what he did. He literally gave Kendrick the ball. He said, okay, I'll give you this seven minutes. And people like me are going to say it was trash. People like you are going to say it was good. You know what I mean? Or and for whatever case, there's going to be a split. And what is Kendrick going to have to do? Respond. Come out with another response. Yeah, he's going to have to respond. And it's going to be bigger than what it is. I mean, just people uh, posting on whatever Drake's response to Kendrick diss. And it's him not even saying anything. It's just him saying stuff that he usually says at a concert. Right. <laughs> you know how big those shorts get? Come on. You know, it's, it's, and now who's listening to Kendrick? We are. I mean, <laughs> the, the big three, it's just the big me. I mean, again, I, I feel where you're coming from. I, I definitely felt like he said what needed to be said. Yeah. I don't think it was trash at any point. I, I don't think he's going to start getting out there like he starts battle rapping somebody like he's Eminem. Like I'm I wish he would have did some like if you're gonna take uh, lyrics from songs, at least some like get off my references. You know what I mean? Because I feel like Kendrick raps has similar styles um, to both Drake and J Cole, and the only thing that he brings to the table differently is his raspy voice, and we all know where he gets that from. And storytelling, he has good storytelling. Too. I don't know, bro. That last song that I heard with him uh, fighting with his baby mama was definitely not a story I'd like to tell. Honestly, bro, his that that shit's funny, bro. Somebody I saw on Twitter, somebody was like, "J Cole can't make a song like We Cry Together," which is the song you're referencing. And yeah, I'm like. Dude, anybody can make a song where they're arguing with their female. Every guy has had a a, a conversation like that. With they, this is just reliving trauma, bro. Right. What the fuck? I mean, and then, you know, some people say that music is trauma, but not when it sounds like that. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Hey, well, we don't condone any of that language either. We don't, no, that was we don't crazy. call women um, the B big words. B. Yeah, of course not. That's so bad man what uh, let's uh man i want to see a better beef i want to see something like actually like can we bring it to the ring can we like get some people in the boxing ring nobody's gonna fight now can we get some of these rappers like to like sit like see, drop the, their the, words see on, honestly all the beefs that can, are for can we get real, them to battle rap in all, person no all the beefs that are for real they just end up killing each other so but it's see just it's like, like but what is i don't believe that any of these beefs are real because the only beefs that you see that are real are never wrapped about. People are just going and things are happening. That's not true. I don't know, man. They still rap about Maybe it. Maybe low-key references, but nothing like, oh, let me, this is specifically a Kendrick diss. Yeah. Like, this is like, oh, I'm here. 
to bring it all to the table. It just reminds me of some stupid battle rap shit. And for all you motherfuckers that sit there and listen to battle rap, bro. Don't disrespect battle rap. Bro. Bro, I'd rather listen to somebody scratching a chalkboard over and over and over again until my ears start bleeding. Then listen to somebody sit there and and say foul things to somebody else while somebody else sits there and and and, and just tries to figure out what they're gonna say next, like oh, oh wiping the tears and sh like this dude didn't just talk about your like infertile wife and like yeah your they dead be saying child. some wild shit. they be like oh the worst I'm things just punch your your baby mama and punch her and punch her it's like damn bro what the f he said what did he say he said that uh. Uh, dude was talking about uh, this other guy's daughter saying that she's got this disease because God hates him. Yeah, I remember that. He said, because God hates you. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Then there was a one dude, he said um, about his uncle, he said that he was a crackhead and if he was, um, if God brought him back to life, he would wish him back dead. Yeah, bro. I don't. I don't condone any of that music. I don't condone any of he it. He said, with, "With hair full of ringworms and face full of blackheads." <laughs> and, <laughs> if anything, it's just silly and it's absurd. Oh, uh, that is funny, bro. And it'd be grown ass men, bro, forty, fifty years old, just being like yelling and screaming and spitting. But at see, each that's other what I'm shit. saying. Is like, can we get the guys that are writing the comics for South Park or writing these these scripts for Family Guy or The Simpsons to come over here or or these fucked up shows on Netflix? Uh, what's that one? Uh, Human Resources to come here and like battle rap each other because that'll be more interesting. The nah, things I that think, they would say. I think the battle rap is okay, man. You gotta, no, it's you gotta not. Get with the we got to boycott bro. the battle rap. You got to go to, you should go to a show, bro. That's what you should do. You should go to a battle rap show, bro. I will never go to a battle rap show. Don't say never. What I will never go to a battle rap nah, show. Nah, you should go, bro. You should bro. You should host one, actually. Pay the, the, uh, the battle rappers. You couldn't pay me enough money to sit there. That's Seriously. Terrible. It's almost like going. There. Mm, that's not making it either. That's how I feel though. The, it's like um, you gotta go in there and like feel the vibe and feel like them like sweating and and yelling and screaming at each other and spitting on each other. There's this one guy who like always throws up like in the middle of his raps. Do you go I've consistently? Never been to one. You've ever. never been to one, but you but you know it so well. I see the videos online. For you sure. just watch the videos. Absolutely. So okay. it's almost like you're there. It's funny. You're a fan. I think some of the shit be funny. I'm not gonna lie. That shit you're be a fan. hilarious. Sure. You no, you that. just, it's yes or no. There's no shit. I mean, I wouldn't you're say I'm You're not talking a, to your lady right now. I wouldn't, you're a fan. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a fan. But I'd I, say I, you're a fan. I, I wouldn't say I'm a fan, but I watch some of it. But you're there. You live it. Yeah. Fair. You just, you're, you're convincing me to go to a fucking show. I think show, you should go, bro. But you're not going to, you're not going to tell me that you're a fan. Oh, no, I'm not going to go, but you should definitely go. I'm not going. Why not, but, bro? Anybody can tell me why I'm wrong, but battle rap is crash bro no, you I'm should go who on it dude you and i'm go. almost getting turned off a of rap with how with how crazy it's getting nah you should go for sure i get a abortion i need an abortion i'm gonna get a red get off doing that so, an abortion. Uh, i'll mention this trippy red comes out of nowhere talking about it a lot of people didn't know that even trippy fans didn't even know this that trippy red came out of nowhere talking about how it was either one or two kids are not his. He never claimed these kids publicly, but then... No, he, it was one that he did claim publicly, but he forgot a DNA test, and it's, for it's both not of his. Them, yeah, the kids are For both of him. them. Yeah. For both the kids. Both the kids aren't his. And he was talking to DDG in a video, and DDG was sitting there, which is the funniest guy to be talking to about the situation. This guy just got smacked in his sleep recently. He said, bro... Both of them? It was both your kids? Trippy Red says, Yeah, bro, my mom just came out of nowhere and was like, Yo, you got to get a paternity test for these kids. She wasn't feeling something. He went, got a paternity test. He said he got two paternity tests. Those are not his kids. DDG was like, Both of them? Like, yeah. Both of them. Both of them. Getting an abortion. And, and dude has the audacity to ask him, Bro, that didn't fuck you up at all? Like, bro, uh, this is a, a video that's on YouTube that 
millions of people has he seen. He said, nah, it ain't fucked me up. No, he said, yeah, of course it did. He said, yeah, bro, a little bit. I mean, I, I don't was... know how long he was taking care of these you kids. Think, would that fuck you up? If I found out after a while, like if I found out right now that my daughter wasn't mine. Yeah. Yeah. Would it fuck me up like to a point where it was like, am I going to just shut down and stop living life? Absolutely not. But would it like make me rethink? Would it make me start putting hot sauce in my condoms? For sure. Ooh, For sure. That's interesting. I don't know. I, I guess like if it was me and I was like, I had that kid for a little bit and yeah. then I found out, like it would be more like a like relief kind but of. But you're like the type of person that would return a child. Oh my, if I could, yeah. absolutely. If it You'd was You'd have it, you go get them after a year. Then you return them after a couple of weeks. You're like, hey, you're like one of those back? grandparents that just never wanted grandchildren. I'm cool. But the little moments that they do get with their grandkids, they appreciate. Oh, yeah. It's like, hey, how are you doing? Grandma, where are you going? Where are you going, Grandpa? Be like, hey, you know, well, we're going off to uh, Vegas. So, uh, toodaloo. I feel like you would intentionally just like hand your kid porn or like give him a bottle of alcohol. That's terrible. No. Just to that. like see what he would do with it. Honestly, decisions, kids, you know, kids would be fucking strict. They wouldn't have any decisions. Really? Yeah. You'd make it worse than when you were a kid. Oh, absolutely. You, you're doing it, huh? Oh yeah, no, it'd be strict, very, very strict. Every day you wake up early, you get a workout in. You get a workout. That's your how kid's you... gonna be more in shape than you. One thousand percent. Like they're gonna be in tip top shape from. So jump. what are they, what are you gonna do when they when they boycott the situation? They're like, you know what, Dad, I can beat your ass now. It's not happening. I'm not getting up for this. this okay, this, if this you run. beat my ass, then you then then you got it. But they're not gonna beat my. They're ass. They're not gonna beat you. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know what that is. Yeah, let's go outside. Yeah. If you want to beat my ass, if you think this is where you want to do with it, yeah. then absolutely go right ahead. You don't have, have you, to run. Uh, have you ever uh, quote unquote shot the one with your dad? Uh, no, that nigga's no. not stupid. No. What? Shout out, Rollo. I love my pops, but he's not dumb, bro. He knows what it is. That man is older, bro. I yeah. hurt him. That right. shit would not be cool. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. And plus, like he honestly, bro, like my dad don't be talking up to me like that. So it's like I don't. There's no reason. Well, the time is near. The time has come, and it is raining cats and dogs outside. Mm -hmm. uh, I am Blake Steele. I'm Kid Iso. <laughs> this has been a dose of reality. Later.